and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be taking on a little project. This morning, I was hauling grain to the elevator and I noticed that the back trap on my Tempty trailer um, was kind of sticky, something was wrong. I could barely get it open when I was at the elevator. <laughs> So now that I'm back home, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it, but I'm pretty sure I already know what's wrong. Last year, I replaced um, the gear track on the back trap, and now I think the opposite side is having issues. So <sighs> let's go open up that back trap, and I'll show you um, kind of the issue I'm having with it. I'm going to open up the back trap to show you how sticky it is. And if you're unfamiliar with how grain trailers work, this grain trailer has two traps underneath of it. Um, these traps are basically just two gears that walk along and open from the bottom because when you're traveling with the grain, when you get to the elevator, you dump from below the trailer. So I think if I show a video of me dumping at the elevator, you'll see what I'm talking about. But this back one is giving me some issues. Okay, so right now I'm actually under the trailer. This is the trap above me and I'm gonna show you where I'm having the issues. Right here is the gear that walks along this track and this track is warped. So that is why I'm having issues moving and opening this trap because the gears cannot um, go smoothly across this track. There's a trap also here on the opposite side and this track is the one that I replaced last year. So time to replace this one. Before I go down there and replace that gear track, I'm gonna do a little bit of sweeping just so I have a clean space to work. Um, right now I'm parked, I don't know if you can tell, I'm in the granary. So I dumped that one load at the grain elevator and then pulled back in here. And and I decided before I run my next load of grain to the elevator, I need to replace this um, track. So I'm going to do a little bit of sweeping. Thankfully, even though it's, I don't know, about a billion degrees outside, it's not too bad in the shade in the granary here. The concrete floors make it a nice little cool area to do a little bit of work. This bolt is one of four bolts holding this gear up. So I need to crack this and get these. I'm doing the cheater bar.
I gave up on the cheater bar and switched to my impact. Um, you probably already know this trick, but what I did was I turned it um, so that way I was tightening the bolt. That way I could bring it back loose instead of just trying to loosen the bolt right away. Um, a little trick. It's also super handy if you have a rusty bolt um, to just go back and forth, back and forth instead of just trying to take it out in one shot because that's when you're going to break your bolt. So now it's time to get it the rest of the way off. Now I gotta go take the bolts off the other side so I can free up that gear and get to the gear track. Thing fell. I should have taken it off. Just landed right on my side. It was definitely going to bruise. And I meant to drop this a lot more gently. Now that I have the gear dropped, I can show you how um, beat up this gear track is. So, I mean, look at that. It was due to being replaced. It is, it is heavily warped. So that explains why the trap door was not um, come in free earlier. Um, definitely explains my issues. So gonna get a few more bolts out of here and then I can replace this gear track. Let me compare it to the new one. Here's the old one. So this is original to the trailer, I'm pretty sure. And this trailer was built in 2002. So pretty old compared to the new gear track. Perfectly straight. So it's time to be replaced. Let's get the new one in. All right, so I'm sitting here trying to think of how I'm going to get this under this plate, which is extremely heavy. I mean, if there was a way that I could hold this up and finesse this underneath, I would, but I don't think it's possible. So I'm going to drop this entire plate. This is basically the door to the trap. This is what keeps the grain in, and it's got to come down. So that way I can put the new track on, put some four bolts, new hardware on here, and get it back on. I didn't really want to, because this is heavy, but there's no way I can lift up and line this up perfectly. So, ah, time to drop it. I thought this project was gonna take me about five minutes, and it is not going as smooth as I thought, but almost done, almost done.
now that I have the hardware placed, I have to tilt this entire plate upwards so that way I can tighten these bolts. It's starting to warm up in here. Got the trap door with the new gear tracks lined up on the bearings. Oh, that literally, that made me break a sweat. <laughs> and now it's time to just put, what, four bolts on and this project will be complete. <laughs>
Now that I have the new gear track on, let's see how easy it is to open and close this rear trap. Ah, I'm so glad that I got that done. <laughs> You can see how filthy and dirty I am from crawling around under that trailer, but good news is, is there is a lot of success at the end of a dirty day, and now I can get back to hauling corn. I know stopping in the middle of my day to fix that trap was a little bit of an inconvenience, but it'll make going to the elevator a whole lot easier for myself. And so now I can get this trailer loaded down with some corn and run it on in. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me change that gear track on my Tempty trailer. If you like seeing videos like this, please like and comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots more videos coming. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.